And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> well, you guys have gone and done it again. You've made my heart glad and you've humbled my spirit. And all I can say is thank you. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch Atah Adonai Jehovah Shema Pina. Blessed are you, our Lord, who is there, as recorded in Psalms 139 and 7. Father, we give you glory. We honor you and offer up sacrifices of praise, for we know that the mouth that remains closed does not get fed. We are grateful for what you're going to do, what you are doing, and for what you've already done. But those are not the only reasons that we laud and celebrate your name. We praise you simply because you are worthy. Father, we submit this prayer in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Anointed One. The blood that shed it was shed at Calvary has covered our sins completely. And it's because of that that we have the remission of our sin. And for that, we tell you thank you. Now, before we go another bit further, we want to confess our sins before you. Your word declares that you are full of patience and long-suffering and that you are quick to forgive us if we confess. So, Father, please forgive us as we forgive others and ourselves. As the deer panteth after the water, our souls panteth after thee. You alone are our heart's desire, and we long to worship thee. Father, we thank you for the testimonies that were shared this evening. The enemy tried and tried to tempt us to respond in our flesh. And it could have been another way, but you kept us. And for that, I'd say thank you again. Lord, purge us with hyssop and wash us so that we are whiter than snow, so that we can lift up holy hands and clean hearts before you. We align ourselves with your word in Psalms 51. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Restore unto us the joy of our salvation and, and uphold us with thy free spirit. Dear Father God, we believe that it is already done and it cannot be another way. So once again, I'm telling you, thank you. Heavenly Father, we have high expectations of you. Enlarge our footsteps and give us the power to march through troops and leap over the walls of adversity. Father, if you don't mind, please keep on doing what you do best, and that's just being God. No one else can touch our hearts like you do, and there is none like you. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for loving us when we were unlovable. Thank you for your faith when we were faithless. Thank you for giving us the privilege to call on that name that is above every other name. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess the hallelujah that he is Lord. Now, Father, when our hearts are overwhelmed and we think about giving up, tenderly keep us going when we feel lost lovingly guide us when we are wrong gently correct us thank you father for being our light when we were in our darkest hour you were our comforter when we were at our saddest moment you were our hope when we were at the lowest we thank you for being our strength when we were at our weakest not only that god but you've been a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. You've been a doctor in a sick room and a lawyer in a courtroom. You've been bread when we were hungry and water when we were thirsty. You've been all of that and more that we could think or ask for. So Father, please help us to recognize and with your help release everything that steals our peace. Father, help us to recognize and with your help release everything that was not sent by you. Father, please break every bridge that leads our lives back into pain. Free us from everything that has no purpose or does not lead to a positive income. Help us to break free of the things that are breaking us, whether it be in our familiar relationships, our finances, our friendship, or our feelings, whether it's in our safety and security. Father, show yourself strong on our behalf. We ask that you would give us the strength and determination to power through every negative situation that would present itself. We claim this day and every day for you. We lay claim on every place our foot shall trot. We lay claim on every person with whom we shall come in contact as a soul for you. 
bind up the works of the enemy, arrest the spirits of rage, wrath, murder, mayhem, calamity, chaos, havoc, catastrophe, and confusion. Send them all back to the dry place. Father, bless your people with prosperity, abundance, and fullness of joy. Give us supernatural insight and clarity. Help us to see and avoid the pitfalls, the ditches, and the traps set by the enemy. Father, don't forget the sick, the bereaved, the afflicted. Bless those who are less fortunate than we are. Bless the homeless, the hopeless, and the helpless. Minister to those who are suicidal, those who are institutionalized, those who are incarcerated, those who have lost their way those who are stuck at the roads, the crossroads of indecision. Bless those in hospitals and hospices. Let the light of your love shine in their darkness and bring them hope. Show them the way up and show them the way out. Father, we speak wholeness and wellness to the 11 systems of the human body. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every disease and illness. Father, heal your people with miraculous effectiveness. Heal us physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, biologically, biochemically, and bioelectrically. Reclaim the backslider and call forth those who don't yet know you in the pardon of their sins. Turn the hearts of our children back to their fathers and the hearts of the fathers back to their children. Break the, break the back of poverty. Make null and void every word curse. Frustrate the workers of iniquity and turn their efforts back on their own heads threefold. Reverse generational curses and turn them into unlimited favor and access. Father, we stand in agreement with every prayer request, victory report, spiritual thought, every presentation that lines up with your will, your word, and your way. Commission the guardian angels to stand watches over, over us tonight as we slumber and sleep and keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger, both seen and unseen. And Father, if this prayer has gone remiss or if I'm praying amiss, judge it to our heads and not our hearts and be moved by your spirit to accomplish your plan. Father, bless everyone of the sound of my voice. Grant us the desires of our hearts. Cause everything our hands touch to prosper. Put hedges of protection around us and the people within our circles of concern. Bless those who will hear this prayer at another time and place. And remember those whose hearts are turned this way but could not participate. Heal, save, deliver, and set the captive free. Father, get glory out of everything that we say and do in spite of what we say and do. And it's in the matchless name of Jesus that we submit this prayer. And Father, if you do these things, we'll be careful to give your name the praise. And if you don't, you'll still be God. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. And every saint that's not afraid to open their mouth, Father God, and let them fall in sync with this prayer by saying amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you and shalom, people of God. Be encouraged and be blessed.